You sure you won't get mad? How could I get mad at a wonderful woman like you? Oh, okay, George. I forgot to call the broker and order your stock. You forgot? <laughs> she forgot! <laughs> of all the dumb, stupid, wonderful... Look, how could you remember something as hard as Hitler, Horse, North Dakota, and forget something as simple as making a phone call? I didn't forget the phone call. The key words were Kojak, Bogus, and Culligan Man. What the hell is that supposed to mean? You see, Kojak means Telly Savalas. Bogus is phony, and Culligan Man is something you call. Telephony call. Telephony call. Get it? Yeah, I got it. Evidently, you didn't. How come you didn't make the phone call? Because I forgot who I was calling. Oh, no. What the hell is that? Well, how should I know? But whatever it is, it's getting closer. Open the door! Oh, that dumb floor. Call the police, quick! Don't let him get away! <laughs> A manga tried to attack me in the elevator. What? You... Oh, my God. Are you all right? Yeah, thanks to my judo. I'll get him. <laughs> Wait, hold it. I ain't got no judo training. <laughs> the elevator door just shut. That means he's on the way down to the lobby. Well, call down and tell Ralph to grab him. Ralph? Oh, he'll do anything for a tip. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you, you'd better sit down. You must be quite shaken up. No, I'm fine. I was the winner. <laughs> Hello, Ralph. George Jefferson, look. A man just tried to mug Florence on the elevator. Yeah, the elevator's on its way down to the lobby. Grab him, grab him! Florence, tell us what happened. Well, one of the main things they taught us in our self-defense class was to watch out for strange men in elevators. Of course, that don't mean you don't have to be careful in the streets and in the subways. The elevator, Florence. What happened in the elevator? Oh. Well, see, I got on the elevator, and I pushed a button to go up. But instead of going up, it went down to the basement. And then this man got on, and he was wearing this dirty old jacket and these dirty old pants. And he looked at me with his dirty old beady eyes. Go on, go on! Well, I knew right away he didn't belong in this building. And that's what No, because I still wasn't sure. I just kind of stared at him like this. Did that make him nervous? It sure did, because then he said, my, isn't it warm in here? And he took off his jacket. <laughs> and a big wrench fell out right on the floor. And that's when you let him have it? No, that's when he bent over and picked up the wrench. And that's when you let him have it? No. Will you shut up and let her tell the story? <laughs> Go on, Florence. Well, I still wasn't sure, but when the elevator stopped at this floor, and I got off, he got off and started to follow me. Mm. Well? Well, ain't you gonna say it? Say what? That's when you let him happen. Because that's when I let him happen. Hallelujah. Oh, Florence, what a terrible experience. Florence, you did great. That turkey's lucky he wasn't there when I ran out. I'd have tied fire to his tail. Hello. Ralph, did you get him? Good. Huh? Say what? You kidding. Look, Ralph, forget I called. There's 20 bucks in there for you. Okay? Good. You know who that man was on the elevator? Jack the Ripper. <laughs> no, you dummy. You just judoed H.L. Wittendale. Wittendale? He lives in the pimp house. That turkey followed me out on this floor. Of course he was coming to see me. Oh, my goodness gracious, Lord have mercy. You mean I hit an innocent man? I'll never forgive myself. Good, because that makes two of us. <laughs> George, don't yell at Florence. She didn't know who he was. Well, I hope he didn't know who she was. Only way I get to see him now is in court. <laughs> Did you hear what just happened? Mr. Whittendale was just attacked in the elevator. No! Mr. Whittendale? Who would do a thing like that? How is he? Oh, he's all right now. Just a little shaken up, that's all. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Did he see who hit him? Oh, yeah. Oh, no. He said the man was disguised as a middle-aged lady. 